My sister and I are twins, though besides our birthday we don't have much in common. Nonetheless, our bond is as strong as anything. Her face lit up as I shuffled into the coffee shop. I could tell she was bursting at the seams to talk about the guy she had just moved in with. I cannot wait for you to meet Vince, she gushed. I feigned enthusiasm while I clenched my thirty-day chip under the table. Over the last year we hadn't kept up with each other. She had no idea about the deep hole I was slowly climbing my way back out of. As she went on and on about Vince, I never found the right time to interject. We finished our brunch. I promised to visit soon. The minute I made it home, it started again. My shadow moved across the wall on its own accord, looking directly at me before extending an arm. No, I shouted, scrambling to turn the lights off. It followed me across the room, producing a syringe. My hand hit the switch just before it entered my silhouette's arm. I collapsed, shivering and gasping. After two weeks of hiding in the dark, I bit the bullet and called Kara. She was ecstatic for me to come see her new home. I started packing as soon as I hung up. Make yourself at home, Billy. Great to meet you. Vince greeted me, nearly taking my arm off with his handshake. Their house was massive, elegant. Kara ushered me to a chair by the fireplace where we sat, shooting the breeze and enjoying the warmth. I had begun to relax when I caught movement in my peripherals. This time it was Kara's shadow going rogue. While she sat across from me, holding hands with Vince, her silhouette fell to the floor, covering its head. Stunned, I watched Vince's shadow loom over her, reach down and grab her by the hair. The next morning, I confronted Kara once Vince had gone to work. Has he ever hurt you? I demanded, gripping her hands. My stomach turned to ice as I pulled up her sleeve and saw the dark bruises beneath. He really is a good guy, she whispered, her eyes brimming with tears. I realized that my sister was in denial, that nothing I could say would convince her to leave him. My shadow, though, provided a solution. That night, as I tossed and turned, it rose above me. It beckoned me out the door and guided me down the hallway, arriving at Vince's office. I pushed the door open, following it to his desk. When Vince and I were finally alone, I used the opportunity to let him know he was never going to lay a hand on Kara again. He blubbered and begged forgiveness, swearing he would change, but I had my doubts. My shadow and I were finally back in sync as I put the revolver to his head. Hey guys and ladies, thanks for watching. Links to all my shit are down in the description. That was Without a Shadow of a Doubt by Psyoptic Nerve. And I'm probably going to do another short one by Psyoptic Nerve in a couple days. And I do have enough stories for a True Scary Stories, which I will be doing soon. And the reason that it's so few and far between with those i know you guys like those but what you have to dig through to find decent stuff that not everyone is doing it's takes some time it's uh you know <laughs> anyway i'm doing that i'm doing that and I, the other thing is is that it was raining and it's been really windy it was even windy through this recording so we're going to see how this is even gonna turn out um but that's what's going on with me and that's about it i hope everybody's well and all that other shit you know what i mean so anyway be good to animals even people sit so yo
Nemo, Darkness, Hush.